Shalom, Yah Basham Yahushai, Basham Raka Kadash. All praise unto Yah Basham Yahushai, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. Shalom to you brothers that's listening and learning, supporting the ministry, and to the sisters as well. And I just want to um, say a few words regarding this EJ Love character. Who, you know, he's, there's nothing special about him. He's just a flavor of the week. But he represents two major strongholds that we are at spiritual war with. Being um, Edomite supremacy and Christianity. Which both both those entities go hand in hand. Alright, because what, what you realize is these Edomite Christians. And Edomites in general, man. They're, they're only happy when we as a people are believing or doing something which is um authorized by them they get very upset when we act independently and that's exactly what we're doing we this truth this knowledge okay is not of this world it's not of him it's of yahweh shai yahweh shai has given this doctrine which he received of his from his father to the apostles and elders who have given it unto other men and so forth and therefore the ministry is going and this ministry, like I keep saying, is not of this world, it's not of Esau, and that's his major issue. That's why he thinks he can stump in here with little or no research, and they can make up breakdowns on the spot. He could do whatever they want to do, and we just have to accept what they say as being the truth. Because he's a so-called white man, right? And whatever we say is invalid, as long as... It, whether or not we're backing it up with scriptures or not, that doesn't matter. He has to authorize it. So he hasn't authorized us being the Israelites. He's authorized us to be Africans or some shit. No, man. No, it's, it's, it isn't like that. Now, this guy, I'm going to quickly read through some comments, man. Because this guy, this guy ain't right, man. He's trying to say we're hurt and all that. No, you're hurt, man. You're hurt because your Edomite supremacy isn't working, my friend. All right, we're not bowing down to your will, okay? When it comes to these scriptures, when it comes to the spirit, when it comes to our faith, we will not bow down to the will and the authority of the devil, man. We will not bow the knee to Baal. And that's who you are, AEJ love. You are nothing more than a representation of Baal. And you seek for us to bow down to you, just like these Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians who are caught up in all these different denominations of Christianity. But when you really break it down, all these denominations of Christianity are all authorized by the so-called white man. Okay, we are not authorized by you. And that hurts, but that's that's your beef. All right, so this guy asks me what the gospel is. This guy doesn't know, you don't know who you're dealing with, my man. The gospel, as I showed him, the good news is all the promises that the father made to us being fulfilled in his son, Yahweh Shai. That's what the good news was. Was that well, that's the, the good that's the good news that the apostles two thousand years ago were spreading. They were spreading the news that the Messiah had come, that the time was at hand for the fulfillment of that which was written. Okay, the good news is all had already been written and foretold in the Holy Scriptures, man. Which is why when 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 Paul went to the church of Berea, the Scripture says the church of Berea searched the Scriptures to see if the things that Paul was speaking were true. Because the good news was already in the scriptures. And the good news, which is in the scriptures, the promises of which is good for us, is that the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Israel being restored, Israel being redeemed, Israel being forgiven of them sins. And it's showing you that you don't even, you, you devils are on such a low level that you don't even understand the relationship between forgiveness of sins and Israel receiving the kingdom that was for them from the very beginning. That's, that's why you can't break down the book of Galatians, man. Because you don't understand that the reason why Israel hadn't received the promises which were given unto Abraham, as they should have, was because they broke the law, statute, commandments of the Heavenly Father, which was part and parcel to the covenant which was made to them with Moses to receive that promise. But what you don't understand, that's why the Lord sent the, the Messiah so that we can have forgiveness of sins. And the Lord could make a new covenant with us wherein we would keep the laws completely. Therefore, we would receive the promise and, and, and the glory which, which was done to us. And the Lord wouldn't break his promise which he made to Abraham. 
that he would bless his seed. You don't even understand that. You're on a low level, man, because you're just coming with that same old Edomite supremacy BS that doesn't have to be spiritually backed up or correct by anything else than the fact that you're an Edomite and you say so and we're niggers and we should just listen to whatever the hell you got to say because we're nobodies, we're of no authority. Well, the only thing I got to say to that is fuck you. Oh, you profanity. No, fuck you and fuck your family, man. It's as simple as that, man. We We really, look, man. We really don't care if you believe or not. At the end of the day, you you bring it out of us to bring out these scriptures and edify our people. And we're gonna break you down. Alright? Because he said what's what what is the, the um what what I'm gonna show you what I said was was um was biblical. Let's get that because the, the kingdom the kingdom of heaven is the, is the good news, man. And part of that, the kingdom of heaven is vengeance, getting power over our enemies, the the power to 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 get vengeance on our enemies and to exterminate you Edomites. That's part of the kingdom of heaven, because all that's gonna happen through Yahweh Shai, the fulfillment, man. Or it's all leading up to the kingdom of heaven, but you don't get that, man. Is the gospel of the kingdom of heaven, man? The, the, the kingdom. Whose kingdom is it, man? The Israelites, man. Look at this. Let's look at the word where the word gospel is mentioned, man. Right? Now leading into the gospel, the one of the foundations of the gospel gospel is what? R forgiveness of sins. Because how the hell is Israel gonna receive a kingdom if they ain't if their if their sins aren't forgiven, as was promised. As was prophesied in the book of Isaiah, in the book of Jeremiah. It's, just, it's prophecy. Alright. Mark, Mark 1 and 14. Now after that John was put in prison, Yahweh Shai came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. What's the kingdom of God? The rulership of the Israelites, man. Mark 1 and 15 and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel is the good news. And the good news is ready for the Israelites because the kingdom of God is our salvation. And that's what you you find it hard to accept simply because you ain't authorized it. Well, to hell with you. All right. That's the point on that anyway. But what I want to do is I want to let me just quickly read through here because these posts in scriptures. Oh, uh, 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 first, first of all, the Corinthians that received the gospel were Israelites, man. Simple as that. Okay, and that's authorized by us, man. All right, all, all these scriptures you're 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 posting, it doesn't agree with what your argument is. It agrees with our argument. All right. Now he posted a scripture here. I want to address real quick. John ten and sixteen. It says, "And other sheep I have which are not of this fold." Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Yeah, there's what Israelites, my man, because the, the Judeans did not represent the entire nation of Israel. Again, showing how ignorant and foolish you are. Because Jeremiah 23, 2 to 8 tells you quite clearly how the Lord was going to gather the remnant of his flock from among all nations, and he was going to bring them again to their folds. All right, Israel was not just in Judea. Again, if you go to Ezekiel the 37th chapter, it tells you in Ezekiel the 37th chapter how the Lord was gonna gonna um bring Israel together. They were gonna no more be two nations, but they were gonna be one nation, meaning the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, and they were gonna be one, <laughs> and they were gonna have one king. All right. Ezekiel 37 and 19 say unto them say if, thus saith the Lord God behold I will take the stick of Joseph which is in the hand of Ephraim and the children of Israel his fellows and I will, and will put them with him even with the stick of Judah and make them one stick and they shall be one in mine hand okay you ain't ready my man let's jump down to verse 22 and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel and one king shall be king to them all and they shall be no more two nations neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all so you don't understand the scriptures and we don't expect you to understand the scriptures you know why because you're an Edomite man 
And you're of this world and the understanding of these scriptures isn't of this world. It has to be given to you, man, from a higher authority than you. All right. You Edomites are not, are not spiritual authorities, man. Point blank, period. But what I want to do is I want to read here. Oh, oh, let me play this. This guy's trying to convince us on his say so that the name of the Lord is Jesus. And it's OK to say Jesus because he, G, uh, uh, English is the um, uh, lingua franca of the world today. I don't give a fuck what the lingua franca is. His name wasn't Jesus. He, he wasn't Greek or English. He was Hebrew. And we're going to call him in the Hebrew. Right? We don't give a fuck what you think, man. We are not going to listen to you. And the elect are not going to listen to you, man. The Lord has revert, reserved 7,000 men who shall not bow their knee unto Baal. All right? Remember that. The Lord confounded the, the, the languages in Genesis, the 11th chapter. So, so when he came to Moses, did he give give his name to Moses in every language that was on the earth, or did he give it to him in the Hebrew? His name is Hebrew, my man. Stop trying to play games. See, you Edomites, man, you just you just playing all kind of. What the hell does that got to do with the fact that he had a Hebrew name? So, because the Lord confounded the languages, so does does that mean that you people can't understand a name in the Hebrew? So, that, so, so when Obama when Obama went to China for a visit. Or when he went to Saudi Arabia for a visit, didn't they call him Barack Obama? And do, do, you, you see, your you people are you people are complete assholes. If you went to another country, you went to China, and they asked you your name, you wouldn't be talking to no fucking Chinese, man. So stop playing games, man. We're not here to play games. All right. New Testament was written in. What was his name, man? When he was when he was when he was alive on earth, because he's alive in the in the heavens. When he was alive on earth, when he was born on earth, what was his name and what language was that name given in? Hebrew. Point blank period. So I don't know what you're talking about, but you trying to force that you trying to force your belief upon us. Where the fuck? So where does it say in the scriptures that you have to call upon the Lord in the universal language? That shows you the devil, man. See, it's okay for you to say where's vibration in the scriptures, but you could pull some bullshit up about universal language and just try and use it for your own purposes, and we can't question you on that. You, it's that's that Edomite supremacy, man. doesn't translate to Jesus. The letter J is the youngest letter in the English alphabet. So so the Greek way of saying the name doesn't even translate into Jesus. What the hell are you talking about? First of all, is, 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 what are you even talking about? Are you, uh, you see what I mean? He's just making it up. This dude's just winging it. He doesn't care. He, look, just listen to me, nigga. That's his spirit. You ain't shit. You ain't ever gonna be shit. You believe what I tell you you can believe. That's the spirit. This devil's coming in. He ain't coming in the spirit of truth. So what? He created the Hebrew. No, no, no. You just don't want to accept. You just don't want to accept it because it's coming from us. But we're supposed to accept your shit. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why EJ is in that spirit. Because it's the same spirit his forefathers are in. And, and, and that spirit continues on to this very day. Now I'm going to read an excerpt from a book. Here called At the Hands of Persons Unknown. The Lynching of Black America. Alright. See, see he don't mind if we call ourselves black. Because black is authorized by him. Black, African. Those are all terms which his people authorized. But we call ourselves an Israelite and he's got a problem because he, did, he didn't authorize that. It says, the Negro is a fellow of many natural defects and deformities. Ran a typical passage in the Jacques, a question for a continent. A popular, right? this is popular, and these were all Christians, by the way. These were all Christians. 
you fucking prick. You think we're stupid. We're not dumb. You better believe that. Alright, a popular literary assault on blacks written by Hinton R. Helper and published in 1867. Not only is he cursed with a black complexion, so you Edomites at one time on your say so, you were actually pushing it out to the world that we're cursed with a, with a black complexion. On your say so. See, you always been pushing your bullshit, man. And you're still pushing your bullshit to this very day. And we just have to accept it because you're because you're you're God, right? <laughs> no. We ain't bowing to Bayo. An apish aspect, a woolly head. Now, doesn't the scripture say that who you call Jesus Christ had a woolly head? You devils are finished, man. He is also rendered odious by an intelligible stench, a thick skull, and a booby brain. Helper was a unionist and had opposed slavery, but came to resent northern efforts to turn southern freedmen into citizens. Sections of his book bore titles such as The Negro's Violent Vomit Provoking Stench and Black Nobodies. And that's, ex that's, that's basically, when you see these, these white Edomites coming up against us, that's basically what they got in their mind. And even when you see these these Negroes, these 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 they're Israelites, but I'm gonna call them Negroes for now, coming up against us, they're coming up against us because they got this devil in semen in their bloodstream. They're coming, they they're under the vibration of Edomite supremacy, as it is written, ye are of your father the devil. Everything, everything they know and everything they believe in has been has to be authorized by the so-called white man. So that's why we have even the majority of our people who come up against us because they're in darkness. They're of this world. Their their father is the so-called white man, the Edomite man. So they yeah, they're gonna come up against us because they don't recognize Israelites as an authority. They recognize Edom as an authority. These so-called black Christians, they all go to the so-called white man to get their spiritual understanding on anything. All right. Ye are of your father the devil. He says, he says here, in the latter, he provided exhaustive lists of accomplished people through all human history, statesmen, historians, philosophers, artists, explorers, and dared the reader to offer the name of even one Negro whose achievements would deserve inclusion. Another chapter, and that's really, that's the point on that. See, that that's the spirit that these Edomites are coming in. But let me get some scriptures, man, because the Lord ain't going to raise up no Edomites to edify his people, man. Because you Edomites are not authorities. Yahweh Shai said his doctrine is of his father. And he gave that doctrine unto who? It chosen Israelite men. And the same thing today. He ain't giving it giving it to no, no bald heads. He ain't giving it to you Edomites, man. You ain't got it, man. You ain't got it and you're never going to have it, man. We got it, beginning with the apostles and elders, man. All right. Jeremiah 23 and 1 says, Woe well be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. And that goes into all these Israelites out there that are teaching a doctrine which is contrary to the word of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man, and leading them away into the ways of the world. Like Christianity, Islam, so forth and so on. But this is what the Lord said he was going to do. I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them and will bring them again to their faults and they shall be fruitful and increase. What's the faults? The Lord ordained uh, uh, um, different sections of the land of Israel to, to the different tribes, Judah, Benjamin, okay, Ephraim, Israel is going to go back into them folds, all right, it says, and I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them, that's the 144,000, right, leaders, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. We're going to be filled with all understanding. That's why the scripture says what? There ain't going to be no need for the sun nor the moon. For the Lord shall be the light thereof. 
we're going to be filled with light. All Israelites are going to be filled with the knowledge, wisdom and understanding of the Most High. Not, not the knowledge, wisdom and understanding of, the, of you Edomites because you're the devil. The only thing you will ever fill our people with is deception. Theatricality and deception, man. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. And that's why Yahweh Shai was imp is, is important because Yahweh Shai was the beginning of the fulfillment of these prophecies to restore the nation of Israel again. But this is an internal affair. All right? The Lord ain't going to raise up no enemies, no devils, man. He says, That I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. That's both kingdoms together. And this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. That's one of the titles of Yahweh Shai. Okay, therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord liveth which brought up and which led the seed, seed descendants of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all the countries whither I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. All right, so that's what's going to go down out here. Let's get um, Hebrews 13 and 20. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Yahweh Shai, that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant, which you guys already admitted that the new covenant is only for Israel. So, so who are the sheep? Israel. The great shepherd is Yahweh Shai, but guess what? The Lord set up shepherds beneath him to feed the flock, beginning with Peter. Did he not say to Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep? Where shepherds? Beginning with the apostles and elders. Where shepherds to our people? The Lord has set up shepherds from among his own people to lead his flock. We don't need you Edomites and we don't need your fucking approval either. You're not an authority, Baal. You're the sons of Baal, man. First Peter 2 and 25. For ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. See, well, you, you might have our bodies, you know, but you don't have our souls, man. Our souls were bought with a price, man. We worship Yahweh Bar Sham Yahweh Shai. We do not worship you devils, you Edomites. We don't need to listen to you. It doesn't matter what you think, man. All right? Understand that, man. You are worth less to us than something that stinks at the bottom of our shoe. And that's real talk. All right? We do not care, man. If you were to just vanish and cease to exist, there would be no fucks given. The only thing we might be hurt about is we didn't get to put a foot up your ass. But we know that's not going to happen because we are going to put a foot up your ass according to prophecy. So we're going to get our opportunity. That's part of the good news. Vengeance upon our enemies. That's part of the faith and the patience of the saints, man. That's in Revelation 13, man, 9 to 10. It says, 1 Peter 5 and 4, And when the chief shepherd shall appear, with chief shepherds, so there's other shepherds, the chief shepherd is Yahweh Shai, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Okay? That's just mentioned in there. 1 Peter 5 and 1, The el well, you, yeah, well, yeah, I should have read all that, but, you know, whatever. The elders which are among you I exhort. Now, these elders are Israelites, who am also, who am also an elder, and a witness of the sufferings of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of, but of a ready mind. Neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being ensamples to the flock. And that's what we do, beginning with the apostles and elders, man. They lead by example, and they shepherd the flock. All right? And we don't need you. You're not, you're not, you weren't set up to play this role, Esau. You're the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Because if we were to take heed to you, then we would be of, our father wouldn't be a father which is in heaven. You would be our father. And you're the devil. So what would come from that? The fruits of what? The devil. All right? John 8 and 44 would apply to us if we were listening to you and your wacky ass breakdowns. But we ain't going to do that. The Lord set up Israelites to raise up, to, to teach and, and bring the gospel to his people, the Israelites. 
all right and that's happening whether you like it or not ephesians 4 and 11 and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers all israelites for the perfecting of the saints who are the saints the israelites for the work of the ministry what's the purpose of the ministry the edification of the israelites the preaching of the gospel of Yahweh Shai to the Israelites, man. The lost sheep of Israel. For the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shai. Who is the body of Yahweh Shai? The Israel of God. The churches of the saints. The Israelites. The people of the Most High. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Yahweh Shai. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine because you're trying to come with a doctrine which is not of our father man which is not of your hour shy you're trying to come with these wacky breakdowns and you just you just you just know we got to listen to you hell no hell to the no all right by the slight of men you're trying to do that slight oh the lord the lord confounded the languages what what does that how does that negate the fact that the lord has a hebrew, hebrew name and he has revealed it unto us didn't the Lord confound the, the languages all the way when they were writing the, the Old Testament? So why were they always recording the name in Hebrew? He's a Hebrew, man. Assholes, man. You you guys you guys are going to get it, man. You're going to get it in a big way anyway. And cunning craftiness, which is what Christianity is, man. Cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Yahweh Shai. Yeah, that's the point on that, man. So you, EJ, man, you ain't right, okay? You ain't never gonna be right. You're not an authority. Neither you or any member of your nation is not an authority or any Israelite, any Israelite that 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 listens to you or takes hold of your doctrine is not an authority. The Lord has set up men of the Lord, prophets, elders, apostles, to to magnify His His word and to glorify His name and to preach His His word and His gospel onto the Israelites in His last days, man. So just sit back and watch. Alright, because you ain't playing no part in this. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.